When you look at the Sims Library homepage, you see a box with six labeled tabs. Each tab provides access to different library resources to help with your classes. In this video, we'll take a look at each tab so that you can locate what you need as quickly as possible. The Quick Search tab features a discovery tool, which means it searches many databases simultaneously. It's kind of like the Google search of the library. It's useful for getting a wide view of information on a topic, but you may find the number of results overwhelming. Luckily, you have several options to focus your search and get more useful results. Before you search, you can limit your results to only full text or only peer-reviewed. From the results screen, you can use the source type limiter to get a specific type of source, such as academic journals, magazines, or books. Another useful filter is language, which you can set to English, and publication date, which you can use to set a range so that you know you're getting only the most recent publications. The Books and More tab provides access to our library catalog, which is a database that lists all sources Sims Library owns. If your assignment requires books or ebooks, this tab is the best place to search. It's also great for locating government documents, videos, and journals. However, it's not good for locating individual magazine, newspaper, or academic journal articles. For that, you'll need the resources on the Articles and Databases tab. The Books and More tab also provides links to the Library Catalog's Advanced Search, Online Guides for eBooks and Videos, and your Sims Library account. The Articles and Database tab is your main access point to our subscription databases, you can use these databases to locate individual magazine, newspaper, or academic journal articles. Some databases specialize in ebooks or videos, but most contain articles. This tab is divided into three main headings so you can locate the databases that best suit your needs. Databases by subject lets you choose databases based on a field of study. You can select a particular subject, like biological sciences or counseling, from the drop down menu. Selecting a subject from this menu redirects you to a list of recommended databases and descriptions of their contents. Databases by name let you choose databases based on their names. When you select an alphabetical range, like H through K, you are redirected to a page that lists databases alphabetically. Selecting the More Info icon lets you know what's in that database. Favorite databases let you choose from a short list of interdisciplinary databases, Interdisciplinary means that these databases cover many different subjects rather than just one. These can be a good starting place to look for articles. The eJournals tab is the most confusing initially. Despite its name, you wouldn't use this to locate electronic journal articles. You'd want to use the individual databases we just discussed for that. Instead, the eJournals tab lets you search for a journal to see if our library has access to it electronically. The Publication Finder link lets you search for a specific journal or browse journals by discipline. These features are more useful in upper level courses where professors may want you to look at journals in your specific subject area. This tab also links to Flipster, a database of popular magazines like Time, Sports Illustrated, and Rolling Stone. Some assignments may ask you to use magazine articles. They also make for fun reading. The Research Guides tab provides access to a variety of research guides, also referred to as LibGuides. Librarians create these to help you with specific needs. You can browse by subject or search for a topic or class to find research guides. One useful research guide is Citing Sources, which provides resources to help with citation in various formats. We also have common read research guides with suggested sources, book reviews, and other tools to help students. The Borrow from Other Libraries ILL tab provides information and resources for our interlibrary loan or ILL service. ILL lets us borrow a book or article you need from another library for free if we don't have it here at SIMS. The first link takes you to register through ILLAD, our ILL system. After registering, you can use the ILL login link to request materials and check the status of your requests. The Learn More About Interlibrary Loan takes you to a research guide that walks you through the ILL process, including how to make a request. I hope this video is helpful in navigating the SIMS Library homepage. If you're not sure which place to search or you need additional help, you can always ask a librarian. 
Remember, we're here to help you.